Right, we're going to try installing VS Code in GhostBSD. We have the software station starting up and it's pulling in the latest packages. By the way, if it doesn't look like GhostBSD, it's because I'm using the Enlightenment desktop, uh, which was set up in the previous video. So right, once we've pulled in the latest packages, and we're gonna have to type in VS Code in the search bar at the top, and there it is. And we'll just click the checkbox and go up to apply. Super easy with GhostBSD. And there is some that it pulls down, but not, not, uh, not over the top. And once you're happy with that, just click confirm and away it goes. Right, once that's done, before we close the software station, we're just gonna check the menu to make sure that the VS Code uh, has been installed properly. And under programming, yes it is, there it is, VS Code. And let's have a look at that. It's starting up. There you are. Not, I don't use VS Code, but those who do will probably think, oh yeah, it's, it's installed properly. And it certainly looks like it has. And you, uh, first thing that comes up is you can choose the themes to uh, be easier or harder on the eyes, of course, it's all personal test. And I think what we might try and do, which I will try and do, is create a very simple, a low world type of um, program. Right, so as far as I know, I have to click up on the top left hand corner to file and go to uh, new file. The text is very small. I'm gonna have to make that bigger. And I'm gonna give it a name. So I'm gonna give it a name. I'm gonna call it, uh, oh, I don't know. Type it hello, maybe. Can't think of any other name to give it. So uh, hello.py. So I'll take it as in Python then. And save it to a, uh, I'll save it up to me usual home folder. To save it. So that's what we're gonna be working with. And um, like I said, we're going to draw a very, 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 very basic Hello World type of uh, little mini program. So, print, uh, bracket, speech mark, hello, and then speech mark, close it with a bracket. At least I think I'm doing it right. Uh, print, uh, bracket, Speech mark, uh, I put Ghost BSD. Oh, what type world? What a rebel. Uh, speech mark and bracket, and there's that. Do I save it now? Yeah, I think I better save it. And then, as far as I know, we can, although I think I need to install something first. Some modules. Those who actually do a bit of program are probably tearing your hair out thinking, oh, get on with it, man. I'm not a programmer. I'm learning as I go along. Very, very basic. Just really to test whether it's installed properly, and I think it is. So we will let's have a look. Uh, yeah, okay. So after a bit of fumbling around, I managed to get to uh, install some modules. Listen, I think they're called modules. I've installed a couple of these uh, Python ones. Oh, it automatically does a second one, that's good. And it gives a few instructions how to do that, but... Who reads instructions, eh? Uh, there are. Although no, they're extensions, not modules. So now I think that they're done, I can test the code. I'll test it, uh, debugging it first. Just in case you've done uh, a wrong type of uh, bracket, etc. So, um, click on that one, yep. And Python, f try that. And it should run. Something running, something's happening on the top left hand side there. So, something's happening at the bottom. And there we go. Hello, Ghost PSD. So, hey, I'm a programmer, watch out. Uh, very, very basic. And I've run it again without debugging. So yes, it works. It's all installed. Now I can't test for any more sophisticated things other than this. But there you are. You get the general idea. It's very easy to use. 
<laughs> very easy to use. Have you heard him? I've done one line of Hello World, and I think I'm a program. No, very easy to install. And if you know what you're doing, it should work perfectly for you. Anyway, if this video was in any way useful, then please consider hitting that like button. If you like any of the videos I make, then uh, please hit subscribe. That'd be brilliant. It helps the channel out a great, a great deal. And if you do subscribe and you don't want to miss any more videos, then please hit that bell button because it notifies you when I release a new video, which is always a good thing. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Yeah.